Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a hair video. So today I'm cutting my hair. Ow. Today I'm cutting my hair. It's a little long. Or it's getting a little bit long. At least it's getting a little bit long on the bottom. Like, I definitely need to cut the bottom. So for the Marilyn Monroe hair, you're gonna want to do a side part. Um, also, you're gonna want to do this on dry hair so that you can see what it looks like, like lengthwise. The way I kind of got this technique was I watched, um, I watched, oh no, I don't remember her name. Um, I don't know, she's a really good YouTuber. I really like her videos. She does a bunch of vintage videos. So the bottom is like five inches. Um, and then I have like these top pieces that are like around four to three inches and the side is like three inches four three four so i think i might i might try and go for all over three to four inches um this is not professional at all i am using like real hair scissors hair shears I'm gonna cut just like literally the bottom. I'm just keeping that good. This is a little bit so far. And you're going to want a little place to put your hairs. <laughs> that sounds so gross. You want a little like thing to hold your hair. So I'm just gonna use this little bucket thing. So like this is three and a half inches about, so I'm gonna try and make everything about three and a half inches. Like this right here is a little bit long. I was just kind of guessing everything to be honest. And I know it, it's gonna look bad when it's like straight down, <laughs> but trust me, um, if you want vintage curly hair, like when Marilyn Monroe had her short curly hair, if you want that kind of like the, um, the seven year itch, her hair in that movie, if you want kind of like that, then I definitely recommend you, you know, following this video. Um, and also, the short hair, the layers, like the ch kind of chunky layers are just really good for short hair, obviously, but if you like curls or if your hair is naturally curly, um, it'll look really, really good. This is the all the hair I cut off. As you can see, not that much compared to some other times I cut my hair, but yeah, it's just a little fluffy bunch, <laughs> bunch of fluffiness. But yeah, so this is the curler I use. It's a really old Revlon one. Like, I don't even know how old this is, but it's super old. They probably don't sell it anymore. I take the very top section of my hair right here, and then I just take this clamp it, pull it down, and then roll it up. And after 10 seconds, I just literally pull it out like that. So it's still in a roll, but it just, you know, it's out of the thing. I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way down. I just literally just wait like 10 seconds about, but sometimes I wait a little bit longer if I feel like it needs it. Got three rolls so far. Then down here is where my hair starts to get longer, or it starts to, I don't know, you'll be able to see like a shape. And 
gonna take this, roll it down, roll it up. And just unroll it. <laughs> it's like a little, little swoopy thing. So I got the front down, now I have to do the back. Which honestly, I don't even know, like, the back isn't that bad curl-wise, like, it probably doesn't even need to be curled to be honest, but, um, I'll still curl it. I'm just curling the bottom now. Um, so yeah, so now we have all the hair done. And then I just kind of feel in the back if I feel any straight hairs. Um, and then I first brush out this side. And then I brush out this side. And you really have to play with this hair, like, sometimes it won't turn out exactly like what you want, but when you play with it, you'll kind of see what you like, um, so yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look at the front. Um, but yeah, if you just kind of also finger comb it like this, it'll just turn out kind of how you're hoping. Now that you did that, you're gonna wanna get some hairspray, a teasing comb. Oh my God, this looks so good. Hi, sweetie. Anyway, so yeah, now the, you, the hairspray that I use is this Aussie Instant Free. And if you like vintage hair, I definitely recommend getting it. Um, I can't find my teasing comb right now. Hold on. So it looks like we're gonna have to use um, my James Dean comb for teasing. But yeah, if you ha see any straight hairs like this, just curl them up. And also if you see any straight hairs, that might be a sign that you need to um, cut them more. So, when you kind of get it to what you want it to look like, um, then you can hairspray it. And if you want this part really, like, good looking, I don't know, what you can do is, hold on, let me make sure this will work. What you can do is use your teasing comb to tease it like this either, which I'm not the biggest fan of that one. Um, usually what I do is I will get, um, hairspray, and I will, hold on, you can just tease the top, sometimes what I do is I'll take some hairspray, spray it right where I'm gonna tease it, and then I just tease it right on up, and it gets really teased and good looking then. But then, of course, we want to comb it out a little bit so that it doesn't look too, like, frozen. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so just kind of form the hair to how you want it to look. And then what you're going to want to do is you have to now do the hairspray. So you want to make sure it looks exactly like how you want to. And then get your instant freeze hairspray. You want this to be a freeze hairspray so that it's perfect and stays how you like it. So first what you want to do is shake it up, then spray it far away so that the the spray doesn't like the air and the spray doesn't affect what your hair looks like. And then also what you can do to make it look like Marilyn Monroe 
what she did like early 50s she would have this brush back like this so that it was really windswept looking so what you can do is actually spray it on the comb or you can spray it directly on your head but i'm just going to spray on the comb and just brush it back like this and hold it there like that and then you'll get that like blown back look like that i honestly feel like i pretty much mastered this hairstyle like it looks really similar to hers mm, ignore my lips i don't know why i wasn't wearing lipstick at all in this video but yeah let me get the rest of my clothes on and then i'll show you guys what i look like in the end my lips oh my god okay so this is the finished hair oh yeah i know <laughs> i didn't change my clothes um i just left on my baby boo shirt but I did put on lipstick, which looks a lot better, but that's it. Um, what? Come here. My baby wants to come out. Come here, sweets. You say hi? Say hi, dear. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and comment and subscribe please. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.